Hello everyone. After a short gap, uh, we are back to our 500 MCQ series of Drug Inspector exam. So once again, I welcome you all to the 500 MCQ series of Drug Inspector exam. And in today's video, we'll be discussing the question number from 46 to 50. So without any further delay, let's move on to the first question of the day. So the first question is, aspartic acid is chemically A choice, acetyl salicylic acid. B choice alpha amino succinic acid, C choice alpha amino glutaric acid, D choice alpha amino malonic acid, and E choice beta amino succinic acid. So, first of all, you need to know what is aspartic acid. Okay, so aspartic acid is nothing but an amino acid, in fact, it is an acidic amino acid. So, aspartic acid is an acidic amino acid. Now, if you look at the general structure of any amino acid, you know that. There is a carboxyl group and there is an amino group, right? So, this is the general structure of uh, any amino acid. Now, in aspartic acid, this R would become. So, in this aspartic acid, the R would become CH2COH. So, this is the structure of aspartic acid. Now, uh, if you look at if you look carefully at this region, this particular region, it's a dicarboxylic acid, right? It's a dicarboxylic acid. So in our ninety first video in the question and answer section, we have explained about dicarboxylic acid. So which dicarboxylic acid acid it is? A di two carboxylic acid separated by two carbons. So this is nothing but succinic acid. So, this dicarboxylic acid is succinic acid. Now, so this parent chain is called as succinic acid and this carbon is called as the alpha carbon. This particular carbon is called as the alpha carbon, right? Now, in this alpha carbon, you have attached an amino group. So, the correct answer for this question would be alpha amino succinic acid, okay? So, the correct answer would be definitely B choice. Now, let's move on to the next question of the day. Which of the following? is used to reduce the toxicity of cyclophosphamide. A choice, Mesna. B choice, n acetyl cysteine. C choice, Euromitaxan. B choice, all of the above. E choice, none of the above. The first thing you need to know here is uh, cyclophosphamide is an anti-cancer drug, right? Cyclophosphamide is an anti-cancer drug. In fact, it is a pro-drug. That means it as such, cyclophosphamide as such is inactive and it has to be metabolized by the enzymes in the liver. Later on, it will be conveyed to various tissues and it will be converted to two molecules. So, the first molecule is called as phosphoramide mustard. Phosphoramide mustard. And the second mo uh, metabolite will be acrolein. Okay, so these are the final metabolites of cyclophosphamide uh, that is phosphoramide mustard and acrolein and the cytotoxic molecule is phosphoramide mustard. So phosphoramide mustard is the cancer cell killing molecule or the cytotoxic molecule whereas acrolein is the toxic metabolite or it is a toxic molecule or it is a toxic metabolite. Now, what is the what kind of toxicity acrolein will create? Yes, acrolein will create a toxicity called as hemorrhagic cystitis. Hemorrhagic cystitis. So, this hemorrhagic cystitis is the inflammation of urinary bladder. Later on, it can lead to the fibrosis of urinary bladder. Fibrosis of urinary bladder. Okay. Now, to um, reduce the toxicity of uh, acrolein or the toxicity of cell, cell, um, acrolein or cyclophosphamide, we can do three things. One is adequate hydration is needed. Adequate hydration so that uh, acrolein could be eliminated from the body. Another uh, drug which is given to reduce the toxicity of acrolein is called as mesna. Now, what is Mesna? Mesna is nothing but sodium mercapto ethane sulfonate. 
sodium mercap to ethane sulfonate so they can uh, cross link with the acrolein and it can uh, uh, remove this acrolein from the body if mesna is not available again we can give a sulfur containing drug that is uh, n acetyl cysteine so mesna and n acetyl cysteine are the drugs which are given to reduce the toxicity of acrolein or the cyclophosphamide toxicity we can reduce by giving mesna or n acetyl cysteine so here the question was which of the following is used to, to reduce the toxicity of cyclophosphamide so mesna is there N-acetyl cysteine is there. Now, uromethoxan is the brand name of mesna. It is the brand name of mesna. So, the answer would be definitely D choice, all of the above. Now, let's move on to the next question of the day. Which of the following is not an RNA virus? A choice, Nipah. B choice, Ebola. C choice corona, D choice hepatitis D, and E choice none of the above. So we know that Nipah is an Nipa is a virus which uh, and the nucleic acid present is RNA. Ebola also contains RNA. Corona, we all know it's an RNA containing virus. What about hepatitis? We know that hepatitis, hepatitis A is there, hepatitis B is there, hepatitis C. Hepatitis D, Hepatitis E. All hepatitis are RNA virus except Hepatitis B. Hepatitis B is a DNA virus. Hepatitis B contain DNA virus, whereas Hepatitis A contain RNA. Hepatitis C contains RNA. D contains RNA, as well as Hepatitis E contains RNA. Okay. So the only uh, uh, DNA containing hepatitis virus is hepatitis B. Okay. Now here the choice is hepatitis D. So definitely uh, hepatitis D also it is RNA. So the question was which of the following is not an, uh, which of the following is not an RNA virus. So the answer would be definitely E choice because all of them are RNA virus. So the definitely the choice would be E choice none of the above okay now let's move on to the next question of the day which of the following local anesthetic which of the following local anesthetic is a PABA derivative what is PABA para amino benzoic acid derivative a choice benzoke b choice cocaine c choice lignoke d choice bupaivake and e choice all of the above okay now the first thing you need to know uh, local anesthetics can be classified based on the structure it can be classified into three categories the first one is it contains a moiety like this that is benzene with carboxylic acid so this is called as benzoic acid right so benzoic acid so some of the derivatives of benzoic acid have local anesthetic property and the examples are cocaine Piperocaine, cyclomethicate. Okay, so cocaine, piperocaine, cyclomethicine are benzoic acid derivative. Okay. Now the second class or the second example, uh, it contain a moiety like some of the local anesthetic contain a moiety like this uh, with the benzoic acid and an amino group at the para position so they are para this is called as para amino benzoic acid para amino benzoic acid and some of the para amino benzoic acid derivatives have the local anesthetic action and the examples include benzocaine procaine chlorprocaine Tetrakine. So these are the local anesthetic which have which have this para amino benzoic acid nucleus. Now let's move on to the third one. So some of this uh, local anesthetic have this particular chemistry. It contains benzene. There are two methyl groups at this position, and there is an NH2 group here, amino group here. Okay. So this compound is called as uh, anilide group anilide group or 2,6 silidin 2,6 silidin 
So some of the cytosic silidin derivatives are also also found to have this local anesthetic property and the examples are examples of anilide or 2,6 xylidin derivative the examples include lignocaine, lignocaine, lignocaine is also called as lidocaine, another example is mepivacaine, mepivacaine, another example is bupivacaine, prilocaine, so, lignocaine, mepivacaine, bupivacaine, prilocaine, all this contains this 2 6 silidin moiety. So, they are silidin derivatives. So, now let's move on to the question. Which of the following here was a PABA derivative? So, the answer is definitely benzocaine. Benzocaine is a para amino benzoic acid derivative. So, the answer is uh, A choice. Whereas, cocaine is a benzoic acid derivative benzoic acid derivative lignocaine and bupivacaine are 2 6 xylidin derivative 2 6 xylidin derivative okay so the answer for this question is a now let's move on to the last question of the day which of the following is a bitter amino acid a choice glycine b choice alanine c choice valine d choice leucine e choice isoleucine so we know that Glycine, alanine, and valine, these amino acids are sweet in nature. They are they are sweet amino acids. Whereas leucine, leucine is tasteless. Tasteless. Whereas uh, isoleucine and arginine, isoleucine and arginine, they are bitter in taste. They are bitter in taste. So, the correct answer for this question is E choice isoleucine, which is bitter in taste. So, the answer for this question is E choice. Okay. So, hope you understood uh, this discussion session. Keep on watching. Thank you.